Hey guys, this is a 2001 Toyota RAV4, as you can see. Doing a lot, antifreeze, radiator, draining that right now and everything. But, at the same time, just your fuel pump happened to go out. And you're probably wondering, you know, you got your fuel pump out, your whole assembly. If you don't know what about going doing that, there's tons of diagrams, instruction videos, videos, just how to do this. In case you haven't seen it yet, seat. It's hold on there, held on back. There's a little clip on the back of the seat. Just release that, press up. Luckily, there is an access door on this car. Take it back, peel it. You're going to see some bolts here. They're 8 millimeters. Take them off. There'll be, you know, clip, some wires there. Hose on the inside. Pull it out. Be careful as rust, you know, dirt, debris. Try not to get it in there. Try to keep your tank clean. Otherwise, you're going to have to clean it out. And you don't want to drop the tank to do that. So, try to be careful, guys, all right? If you get that out, you probably clicked on the video because you got the fuel pump assembly out, all right? Yes, you can replace this whole thing. Four to $600, order online. I will leave a part number and a couple links in the description below in case you just want to order it. You can walk into the store and get it, but they have to order it as well. It's usually a special order, okay? But you're probably here today because you just bought the fuel pump and strainer. It's a lot cheaper, 100 150 bucks, 10 to 20 bucks on the strainer. That's import direct. Part number E sixteen twenty three zero. There you go. You can see. Okay. And to go about taking this off, it's not too hard, guys. You know, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, always just seek professional help. You know, you would. If you don't know what you're doing, just go get certified help mechanic. Go get it done yourself. Okay. But if you look on the side of the fuel pump assembly, you're going to see these clips. They're just pressure clips. You're just going to use a flathead responsibility tool to just pull them back. Boom, it comes up. There's the wire there, okay? That's connected to the fuel pump, as it would be in there. The old one's still in there. It comes right out. It's nothing too hard, all right? The fuel pump's in there, starting to slide. You're just going to, you know, push out the fuel pump. Boom. When this old one comes out, there should be this white clip on here still, okay? That's actually held on. Take it off the old one, put it on the new one. Just try not to damage your wires or anything, your float. You know, because otherwise you're going to have to either get a whole assembly. You know, these fuel pumps, they come with some repair kits, you know, for the fuel, the gasket, the hose, harness. So, I mean, try to be careful, guys. You know, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you know, just always go get, you know, professional help, okay? Hope that answered made it pretty simple. I mean, it's not too different from a lot of fuel pumps, guys, you know. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just, just shoot a comment below. I'll try and help you out. It's nothing too hard. Should be the same, I believe, for 2000 to 2001 Toyota Rat Force. It's not too hard, guys, all right? If it helped, you know, like the video, subscribe, let me know what you think. If it didn't help, there's bound, you know, something fine, all right? But if you like the guys, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks. It's not too hard. Just put it all back together, you know, reinstall it. It really shouldn't be more than a 30 minutes an hour job, you know, depending on if you have stuff or not, but. All right. Thanks for watching. Candy paint with the white on top. Lambo doors or the woo up drop. If you busy plotting on what I got, kicking your door and swat you thought. $100,000 on the tabletop.